Hello guys, it's D to the B here, and today I'm going to be doing another review. This one's about the Garfield movie. Now, I know people weren't really interested in this Garfield movie because, oh, Chris Pratt is in it. Oh, that gosh darn Chris Pratt. I'm going to be honest, guys, I'm actually kind of glad they're bringing him into more movies because some reason they have a real issue with Chris Pratt. It might have been the comment or his bio on Twitter or Instagram saying, I love God and my wife. And for me, that's pretty insulting that people would go after the guy because he believes in God because A, I'm a Christian myself and B, you can believe whatever you want. That's the point of being in America. You can say whatever you want without getting in trouble or arrested or any other further things I'm not going to say. But I can understand also some people starting to get sick of Chris Pratt because they keep putting him in movies that um, don't fit his role. Of course, the last movie he was in, the Super Mario Bros. movie, was really good and I did enjoy it. Yes... Chris Pratt could have done better as Mario, but I like it. And then Garfield was also announced to be by Chris Pratt. When I heard this news, I was concerned about him being Garfield. I thought Chris Pratt would probably do better as a John. But then I saw the trailers, and I was generally impressed with the movie. Or the trailers, at least. I actually liked it. So... Um, eventually, me, Elsa C, and that Kermit fangirl went to go see Garfield, and I actually personally really enjoyed it. I was really hoping this movie didn't suck, and in my personal opinion, it didn't. Now, I don't know people's collective opinion on this movie, but I actually did really enjoy it as somebody who grew up with some Garfield stuff. Now, I didn't grow up when... Garfield was first a thing, but I did grow up with things like um, Garfield and Friends. The I think the first Garfield movie was out, but I barely remember it until all the C showed it to me. And last but not least, the Garfield show. Oh, and uh, and um, Garfield in reality or something like that, and a Garfield superhero uh, movie. I'm just trying to remember everything Garfield that I've seen. But continuing on, so why don't we get to the plot? So the plot is basically we open up with Garfield and his va uh, father, which his father leaves him. And Garfield goes through the streets and he finds John at a restaurant where John immediately discovers that Garfield is a particular cat. And basically eats a lot of things at the restaurant, which I'm surprised that the restaurant people didn't catch him right away and throw him out for having a pet. So then John leaves after finding Garfield and John tries to separate from Garfield because his apartment doesn't allow cats, but he feels bad for Garfield because he has nowhere else to go. So he adopts Garfield and convinces him to get a house and we basically go through a transition and then um yeah we go to the modern day where Garfield's doing his own thing his normal routine we even get a funny joke about Mondays which is honestly pretty funny and accurate to the source material because in every Garfield iteration even the original comics now I haven't read the original comic strips but one of Garfield's main things that he does not like is Mondays. And it's been like this since the beginning. If I'm wrong, someone please correct me. But anyway, the movie is very enjoyable. And one thing I do have to kind of complain about this movie, even though I don't think it's that bad, I think things I did not like as much the modernization they did to Garfield like 
having like streaming services, drones, iPhones. I I wasn't for that. Now yes, technically the iPhone it's not an iPhone since of course this is a Sony movie. So it might be a self plugged product that I'm not even sure of. That's the only nitpick I have with this movie that they modernized Garfield too much where it would fit in the modern day. I'm not too much of a fan of that, but it's a small minor um, nitpick. And also this movie did it better than Scoob. I'm going to say it. Scoob was absolute dog water. That movie was terrible. But anyway, continuing on, we eventually see Garfield waking up in the middle of the night because he's hungry and him and Odie are abducted by these two crazy dogs and of course um they are being held hostage and then they are rescued by a mysterious figure which Garfield recognizes immediately being Vic his father the one who abandoned him in the streets and left him all alone and then we also meet the main villain of the movie Jinx a crazy cat that Vic had met at some point and was accepted in Vic's gang until she was um, arrested for stealing um, cow milk from um, organic farms or something like that. I can't remember what the farm is. And she went to the pound and then she escaped with two dumb dogs. And they bas- she basically wants Vic to grab enough milk where it could pay off his debt for getting her captured. So Garfield, Odie, and Vic go on an adventure to get this milk, which, of course, is very secure in this case. Like, very secured, like electric fences all that and we get to meet another character named Otto who was originally the mascot of the farm but something happened I can't entirely remember so Otto in agreement of freeing his girlfriend helps them try to sneak in to the area they almost get caught or actually they do get caught by Garfield well Garfield and Odie get caught But Vic escapes, and Vic meets up with Jinx, but she only wanted him to get the milk, so then he would be arrested. And then John and Odie and Garfield reunite, and also we get a joke that John is done with um, answering machines or being put on hold, which is actually kind of funny, to be honest. I generally laughed at this because I understand the feeling of being on hold. It is frustrating. But anyway, Garfield eventually decides after coming home that he needs to find his father. So Garfield and Odie set off to help him, which, of course, Garfield has the help from Otto and a bunch of drones that deliver pizza. Jinx is defeated, and she is put back on the pound, or she's doing community service, actually, now thinking about it. Um, Garfield um, brings his father Vic into the family, and that is the Garfield movie. Now, this movie isn't much, but I still enjoyed it for the most part. Of course, again, I don't like how they modernize Garfield. That's my only big complaint about the movie, but again, it's done better than Scoob freaking hate that movie but anyway if I had to rate this movie it would be a 9 out of 10 I really generally enjoyed this movie there were no dumb kid jokes in it I actually laughed at a lot of the jokes like this movie generally made me laugh but that might just be me which is nothing new unfortunately but anyway What do you think about the Garfield movie? Did did you like it? Did you hate it? Tell me in the comments, and have a nice day, everyone.